a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Steven Seagal Steven Frederick Seagal is an American actor, producer, screenwriter, director, martial artist, and musician who holds American, Russian, and Serbian citizenship. A 7th Dan Black Belt in Aikido, Seagal began his adult life as a martial arts instructor in Japan, becoming the first foreigner to operate an Aikido dojo in the country. He later moved to Los Angeles, California, where he worked as a martial arts instructor. In 1988, Seagal made his acting debut in Above the Law. By 1991, he had starred in four successful films. In 1992, he played Navy SEAL's counter-terrorist expert Casey Ryback in Under Siege. During the latter half of the 1990s, Seagal starred in three more theatrical films and the direct-to-video film The Patriot. Since then, his career has shifted almost entirely to direct-to-video productions. He has since appeared in films and reality shows, including Steven Seagal, Lawman, which depicted Seagal performing his duties as a reserve deputy sheriff. Seagal is a guitarist, and has released two studio albums, and performed on a number of film scores. He has worked with Stevie Wonder and Tony Rebel, who both performed on his debut album. He has also been involved in a line-off, therapeutic oil, products and energy drinks. In addition, Seagal is known as an environmentalist, an animal rights activist, and as a supporter of the 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyasto. He is also known for his outspoken political views and for his friendship with Vladimir Putin. Seagal once referred to Putin as one of the great living world leaders. Early Life Stephen Frederick Seagal was born in Lansing, Michigan on April 10, 1952, the son of medical technician Patricia and high school math teacher Samuel Seagal. His mother was of Dutch, English, and German ancestry. While his paternal grandparents were Russian Jews who immigrated to the U.S. he also has Irish and Mongolian heritage. When Seagal was five years old, his parents relocated to Fullerton, California. He attended Buena Park High School in Buena Park, California, and Fullerton College between 1970 and 1971. Martial Arts Seagal moved to Japan at some point between the ages of 19 and 21 with his father who was visiting for military purposes, and met karate masters, and decided to remain in Japan. He received his first Dan degree under the direction of Koichi Toei. He continued to train in Aikido as a student of Saizuki Kiebe, Toei, Kizaburo Osawa, Hiroshi Isoyama and the second Doshu Kishomaru Ushiba. He attained a seventh Dan degree in Shihan in Aikido. He also holds black belts in karate, judo and kendo and became the first foreigner to operate an Aikido dojo in Japan. After returning to California in 1974, Seagal met Miyako Fujitani, an Aikido instructor teaching in Los Angeles. He returned with her to her native Japan in 1975 where they married. Seagal initially returned to Taos, New Mexico, with his student Craig Dunn, where they opened a dojo. Although Seagal spent much of his time pursuing other ventures, after another period in Japan, Seagal returned to the U.S. in 1983 with senior student Haruo Matsuoka. They opened an Aikido dojo, initially in North Hollywood, California, but later moved it to the city of West Hollywood. Seagal left Matsuoka in charge of the dojo, which he ran until the two parted ways in 1997. He has helped train Brazilian mixed martial artists Anderson Silva and Leota Machida. Silva, who is the former UFC middleweight champion, went on to knock out Vitor Belfort with a kick. In their fight at UFC 126 in February 2011, and Machida also credited him for helping him perfect the front kick that he used to knock out Randy Couture at UFC 129 in May 2011. 1980s-1990s in 1987, Seagal began work on his first film, Above the Law, with director Andrew Davis and reportedly as a favor to a former Aikido student, the agent Michael Ovitz. Ovitz took Seagal to Warner Brothers to put on an Aikido demonstration and the executives were impressed by him and offered him several scripts. Seagal turned them down, but agreed to write what would become Above the Law. Following its success, Seagal's subsequent movies were hard to kill, marked for death and Out for Justice, all box office hits. 
making him an action hero. Later, he achieved wider, mainstream success in 1992 with the release of Under Siege. That film reunited Seagal with director Andrew Davis, and was a blockbuster in the US and abroad, grossing $156.4 million worldwide. Seagal hosted the April 20, 1991 episode of the late-night variety show Saturday Night Live, which aired as the 18th episode of the 16th season. Cast member David Spade regarded Seagal as the show's worst host during Spade's time there. Spade and co-star Tim Meadows cite Seagal's humorlessness, his ill-treatment of the show's cast and writers, and his refusal to do a Hans and Franz sketch, because that skit's title characters stated that they could beat up Seagal. Seagal was never invited back to the show following that episode, Meadows commented, he didn't realize that you can't tell somebody they're stupid on Wednesday and expect them to continue writing for you on Saturday. The cast and crew's difficulties with Seagal were later echoed on air by producer Lorne Michaels during guest host Nicolas Cage's monologue in the September 26, 1992 season 18 premiere, when Cage worried that he would do so poorly that the audience would regard him as the biggest jerk who's ever been on the show, Michaels replied. No, no. That would be Steven Seagal. Seagal directed and starred in On Deadly Ground, featuring Michael Caine, Ali Ermi, and Billy Bob Thornton in minor supporting roles. The film emphasized environmental and spiritual themes, signaling a break with his previous persona as a genre-ready inner-city cop. On Deadly Ground was poorly received by critics, especially denouncing Seagal's long environmental speech in the film. Regardless, Seagal considers it one of the most important and relevant moments in his career. Seagal filmed a sequel to one of his most successful films, Under Siege, titled Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, and cop drama The Glimmer Man. In 1996, he had a role in the Kurt Russell film Executive Decision, portraying a special ops soldier who only appears in the film's first 45 minutes. In another environmentally conscious and commercially unsuccessful film, Fire Down Below, he was an EPA agent fighting industrialists dumping toxic waste in the Kentucky Hills. This film ended his original multi-picture contract with Warner Brothers. Director Video Work The next year, Seagal made The Patriot, another environmental thriller which was his first direct-to-video release in the United States. Seagal produced this film with his own money, and the film was shot on location on and near his farm in Montana. After producing Prince of Central Park, Seagal returned to cinema screens with the release of Exit Wounds in March 2001. The film had fewer martial arts scenes than Seagal's previous films, but it was a commercial success, taking almost $80 million worldwide. However, he was unable to capitalize on this success and his next two projects were both critical and commercial failures. The movie Ticker, co-starring Tom Sizemore and Dennis Hopper, was filmed in San Francisco before Exit Wounds, and went straight to DVD. Half Past Dead, starring rap star Ja Rule, made less than $20 million worldwide. Other than his role as a villain in Robert Rodriguez's Machete, all of the films Seagal has made since the latter half of 2001 have been released direct to video in North America, with some theatrical releases to other countries around the world. Seagal is credited as a producer and sometimes a writer on many of these DTV movies, which include Black Dawn, Belly of the Beast, Out of Reach, Submerged, Kill Switch, Urban Justice, Pistol Whipped, Against the Dark, Driven to Kill, A Dangerous Man, Born, To Raise Helen the Keeper, a movie released in Japan 15 weeks earlier than the United States. In 2016, Seagal starred in seven direct-to-video movies. Recent television and commercial work In 2009, A&E Network premiered the reality television series, Steven Seagal, Lawman, focusing on Seagal as a deputy in Louisiana. In 2011, he produced and starred in a 13-episode television series entitled True Justice. It was renewed for a second season on Riel's channel in 2012. In the UK, True Justice has been repackaged as a series of DVD movies, with each disc editing together two episodes. Themes and Motifs 
Many of Seagull's films share unique elements which have become characteristic of his body of work. His characters often have an elite past affiliation with the CIA, Special Forces or Black Ops. His characters differ from those of other action movie icons by virtue of their near invulnerability. They almost never face any significant physical threat, easily overpowering any opposition and never facing bodily harm or even temporary defeat. A notable exception is 2010's Machete, which features Seagal in a rare villainous role. Seagal's music appears in some of his films, as does his fluency in other languages. And religion. His past as an Aikido teacher is also incorporated into several films, for example Above the Law or Shadow Man, where he is seen giving an Aikido demonstration. Several of his films also feature prominent political messages, most notably the environmentalism evident in On Deadly Ground, which ends with a lengthy speech in which Seagal accuses big business of rampant environmental degradation. Big business is primarily responsible for destroying the water we drink, the air we breathe and the food we eat. They have no care for the world they destroy, only for the money they make in the process. They basically control the legislation, and, in fact, they control the law. They influence the media so that they can control our minds. They have made it a crime to speak out for ourselves, and if we do so we're called conspiracy nuts, and we're laughed at. We have to force these companies to operate safely and responsibly, and with all our best interests in mind. In 2008, author and critic Verne published Sea Galogy, a work which examines Seagull's filmography using the framework of auteur theory. The book divides Seagull's filmography into different chronological eras, with distinct thematic elements. The book was updated in 2012 to include more recent films, and Seagull's work on the reality TV show Steven Seagal, Lawman. Music In addition to acting and Aikido, Seagal also plays the guitar. His songs have been featured in several of his movies, including Fire Down Below and Ticker. Among his extensive collection include guitars previously owned by The Kings, Albert, B.B. and Freddy, Bo Diddley, Stevie Ray Vaughan, Buddy Guy, Howland Wolf, Muddy Waters, and Jimi Hendrix. In 2005, he released his first album, Songs from the Crystal Cave, which is a mix of pop, world, country and blues music. It features duets with Tony Rebel, Lieutenant Stitchy, Lady Saw, and Stevie Wonder. The soundtrack to see Gaul's 2005 film Into the Sun features several songs from the album. One of his album tracks, Girl It's All Right, was also released as a single in parts of the world alongside an accompanying music video created for it. Seagull's second album, titled Mojo Priest, was released in April 2006. Subsequently, he spent summer 2006 touring the United States and Europe with his band, Thunderbox, in support of the album. Law enforcement work Seagal has been a reserve deputy chief in the Jefferson Parish, Louisiana Sheriff's Office, in the late 1980s after teaching the deputies martial arts, unarmed combat and marksmanship. Longtime Sheriff Harry Lee was so impressed he asked Seagal to join the force. Seagal owns a second home in Louisiana and spends several months there every year. According to the show, Seagal graduated from a police academy in Los Angeles over 20 years ago, and has a certificate from Peace Officer Standards and Training, an organization that accredits California police officers. However, post officials in California and Louisiana have no record of Seagal being certified, and Seagal's rank in Louisiana is ceremonial. In November 2008, AME announced that they had begun taping Steven Seagal, lawman which follows his work in the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office. The series premiered on A&E on December 2, 2009. Seagal stated that, I've decided to work with A&E on this series now, because I believe it's important to show the nation all the positive work being accomplished here in Louisiana, to see the passion and commitment that comes from the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office in this post-Katrina environment. The series premiere drew 3.6 million viewers, ranking as best season opener for any original a and &E series ever. On April 14, 2010, the series was suspended by Jefferson Parish Sheriff Newell Norman due to a sexual trafficking lawsuit filed against Seagal. The suit was later dropped.
A and E resumed the show for the second season which began on October 6, 2010. In February 2011, A and E announced that the series would begin production on season 3 episodes, with a change of location from Louisiana to Maricopa County, Arizona. Two episodes were scheduled to be aired beginning on January 4, 2012. The episodes were announced by A and D, who created a Facebook page for the series, and listed in the TV Guide. Shortly before the episodes were to be aired, the web and Facebook pages about the series were removed. A and E made no announcements about the sudden suspension of season 3 or whether there would be a third season. It was announced on May 16, 2013, that the third season would air on Riel starting in January 2014. Episodes from the first two seasons began airing on June 6, 2013. Season 3 premiered on January 2, 2014. Business Ventures In 2005, Cigar Enterprises began to market an energy drink known as Stephen Seagull's Lightning Bolt, but it has since been discontinued. Seagull has also marketed an aftershave called, Scent of Action, and a range of knives and weapons. In 2013, Seagull joined newly formed Russian firearms manufacturer Orsis, representing the company in both a promotional capacity as well as lobbying for the easement of U.S. import restrictions on Russian sporting firearms. It was also announced he would work with the company to develop a signature long-range rifle known provisionally as Orsis by Stephen Seagull. Religion Seagull is a Buddhist. In February 1997, Lama Penarin Poche from Palil Monastery announced that Seagal was a Tulku, and specifically the reincarnation of Chong Drag Dorje, a 17th century Tatan of the Nyingma, the oldest sect of Tibetan Buddhism. Seagal's recognition aroused controversy in the American Buddhist community, with Helen Dworkov commenting in Tricycle to doubt the extent of Seagal's spiritual wisdom, and to suggest that Seagal bought his Buddhahood by donations to Penas Kinsang Palil Kohling Center. Penarin Pochoy responded to the controversy by saying that Seagal, although acting in violent movies, had not actually killed people, and that Seagal was merely recognized, whereas enthronement as a Tulka would require first a lengthy process of study and practice. Citizenships Seagal was granted Serbian citizenship on the 11th of January 2016, following several visits to the country, and has been asked to teach Aikido. To the Serbian Special Forces, Seagal was granted Russian citizenship on 3 November 2016. According to government spokesman Dmitry Peskov, he was asking quite insistently and over a lengthy period to be granted citizenship. Relationships and Family While in Japan, Seagal married his first wife, Miyako Fujitani, the daughter of an Aikido instructor, with Fujitani. He had a son, actor, and model Kentaro Seagal, and a daughter, writer and actress Ayako Fujitani. Seagal left Miyako to move back to the United States. During this time he met actress and model Kelly LeBrock, with whom he began an affair that led to Fujitani granting him a divorce. Seagal was briefly married to actress Adrienne La Russa in 1984, but that marriage was annulled the same year, over concerns that his divorce had not yet been finalized. LeBrock gave birth to her and Seagal's daughter Annalisa in spring 1987. Seagal and LeBrock married in September 1987 and their son Dominic was born in June 1990. Their daughter Arissa was born in 1993. The following year, LeBrock filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. Seagal is married to Mongolian Adenatuya Batsuk, better known as L. They have one son together, Kin Zhang. From an early age, L trained as a dancer at the Children's Palace in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. After her graduation from high school in the Children's Palace, she pursued a career as a professional dancer. She won a number of dancing contests, and was considered the top female dancer in Mongolia, excelling at ballroom dancing in particular. L first met Seagal in 2001, where she worked as his interpreter during his visit to Mongolia. Seagal has seven children from four relationships and two grandchildren by his eldest son, Kentaro. In addition to his biological offspring, Seagal is the guardian of Yabshi Pan Rinzin Wangmo, the only child of the 10th Pankan Lama of Tibet. When she studied in the United States, Seagal was her minder and bodyguard.
Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?